Senator Mackenzie. Thank you very much, Mr Acting Deputy President. Well, as leader of the Nationals in the Senate and a proud uh, regional Victorian, I'm very pleased to be able to participate on behalf of those communities uh, and contribute to this matter of public importance. Raised by the Labor Party, which is quite ironic, um, it's nothing more than a stunt, but I guess we shouldn't be surprised. An attempt, a really cheap and tawdry attempt to politicise uh, the bushfire recovery. Our regional communities have been hit by a triple whammy, the drought, bushfire and COVID-19, and we're doing everything we can as a federal government to support them through that. Labor is not interested in bushfire recovery. They're interested in any single distraction to take the spotlight away from their grubby ALP branch wheeling and dealing. If Labor was actually interested in the people of Victoria, uh, the senator that put this motion forward uh, would think she would have actually so shown some interest. And I think, Senator Van, you, you raised a very valid point that when the government offers to all senators, because we know that when we work together across political parties, when we work together across jurisdictions, we achieve great things. We've done it in flattening the curve with COVID-19, and we can do it with bushfire uh, recovery. But when offered that briefing so they can get across the detail, no one showed up, Senator Van. No one showed up from the Labor Party, and guess what? No one showed up from the Greens. But those of us that live out in these communities actually are not surprised by uh, you know, this fickle, fickle and offensive uh, politicisation of something that is very real and is impacting people's daily lives. We've just heard in the debate tonight Senator Rice gets on her high horse. We hear the typical Green talking points rolled out yet again. Well, you know what? The Royal Commission into the bushfires in our home state, Senator Van, those horrific bushfires that occurred on the 7th of February 2009, killed 173 people. Killed 173 people. The Royal Commission said, you know what? Our volunteer and our um, professional fireys need to work together better. You know what makes a difference to fires? An ignition point, a fuel load, access to tracks and access to the country, country the, the national parks and the state parks, etc., to actually manage the fire. Fuel burns uh, also make a difference. Now that's over a decade ago, and here we are. Here we are. Um, so I just want to also put on the record thank you to our CFA volunteers, the RFS, um, the South Australian volunteer uh, firefighters who spent day and night. And I remember uh, going out into Kajiwar and Koryong and Talangada and talking with the CFA uh, volunteers after New Year. They were exhausted. They'd be out defending their neighbour's property uh, and they would get home to find their own backyard burnt. Um, I guess so that is a bit disappointing, but you know, here we are batting it away. At the end of the day, I know my Senate colleagues on this side of the chamber have gone through um, the significant support uh, that our government has put on the ground and into regional communities to support those bushfire affected communities. An initial $2 billion for those recovery efforts. Financial counselling, we've already paid out a million dollars. We've already paid out $18.2 million in small business grants. Uh, the $10,000 small business grants already paid out $173 million. I could go on and on and on. The reality is we all know in this place we, have to, we come with bags of money and good intent. It is state governments that are responsible for the front line rolling out these programs. And to come in, particularly in Victoria, with young Daniel, Young Daniel Andrews had a big day. I hope he watched 60 Minutes. I know I really enjoyed it last night. Not a lot of, not a lot of surprise there for me. Not a, I don't know where the cameras were, Senator McGrath. But it is time for state governments of all colours, of all colours, to get serious about supporting regional communities. Authorised by Bridget McKenzie, National Party of Australia, Wodonga.